Yo guys, JPR Tech here, the Puerto Rican, living in Japan, talking about photography, videography, tech in our life, that we try to do things cheap or better yet, free. So today we're going to be doing a comparison between the Canon EOS M with the kit lens, with the 22mm f2 lens in different modes compared to the Fujifilm's X-H1 with the 23mm f2. So let's just get started. What you're watching right now, this is the Canon EOS M shooting in the 5K FRTP mode, 14 bits with the kit lens, the 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens. Now I do have the aspect ratio to 16 by nine, so it's gonna lower our resolution greatly. But I am counting on the 5K FRTP mode to help clean up all the artifacts and the color uh, chromatic aberration and the color fringing that takes place shooting in 1080p, which actually is our next mode. So we're gonna switch over to the 22 mil. That way we can shoot in the 1080p and it's gonna be a similar photo view that we're shooting in right now, but with more bokeh. And here we are. This is the 22 mil wide open at F2. We got some much better bokeh balls. Look at those nice balls there. Um, yeah, it's a little brighter. The image, I try to lower, tone down my lights a little bit, but again, 1080p with the 22 mil F2. How does it fare against the 15 millimeter f3.5 in 5k FRTP? I don't know, I think they both have their good advantages and disadvantages. Of course, the advantage on the 22.2 being the bokeh, brighter, better, low light performance, but the 15 mil does have advantage. It does, it is a lot wider. You can shoot in 5k FRTP in a narrow, small studio. And also you could take it out the tripod and shoot handheld with the stabilization that this lens has. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if shooting 14 bit is gonna give us even more advantage over a newer modern 4K camera. Of course I can't shoot 4K because it crops a little bit. It's gonna be too tight. So we're gonna shoot in 1080p 16 by nine, but with similar specs, 1080p 16 by nine, 23 mil F2. So let's switch the cameras around and mount this baby up. And here we are with the Fujifilm X-H1 shooting with the 23mm at f2 in 1080p 16x9. So everything is going to be 16x9. None of that cinematic widescreen and black bars. So we got here the Canon EOS M that I'm directly comparing right now. This modern 1080p versus this hack 1080p of the USM. Looking at the bokeh quality, what do you guys think? Which one has better bokeh? It should be pretty similar. I don't know. I haven't seen the footage yet, but um, yeah, from my past tests that I have done, and I, this has been my main camera for years, I can confidently say that they're very similar. Now, for some reason, I feel like the Canon USM has a lot more detail. It's, it's like almost grainy like detail, which is a good thing and a bad thing. If you want a really clean, modern, slick looking, like a Sony style sharpness, then you're not going to get it with the shooting raw with the Canon USM. That's the Fujifilm X-H1. It does have that really sharp, clean looking footage and actually controls i'm so surprised about that it controls chromatic aberration so well it controls a lot of those uh, line artifacts that many many modern cameras still suffer from fujifilm does a great job shooting clean 4k and 1080p but mainly 4k is like where it, where it's at you get some clean footage there but for some reason the canon's 1080p is very very sharp and it's like grainy organic and it's great for footage that you want to use in b-roll and of course shooting 14 bit 10 bits 12 bits doesn't matter what bit this is going to have a lot of bit rate and even more you're going to have dng files that you could play with so if your white balance is off super easy to fix the fujifilm it breaks down when i try to fix the white balance and speaking of which I don't think I did set the white balance correctly, did I? If 
I forgot to, then I'm probably fixing this as much as I can in post to make it look like the Fuji films when I'm inside the studio. So hopefully it looks reasonable. Lastly, finally, we're going to close things up in 1080p, 14 bit goodness. And this is again the Canon EOS M with the 22 mm f2 lens and my Sony condenser mic, which actually I don't know the name. I can never remember the coded name. I'll just leave the link in the description down below. Check it out if you guys like the audio that is coming directly from the Canon EOS M. So how did the Fujifilm fare out? Actually, no, I should say, how did the Canon fare out up against a much newer, modern, 1080p camera. It's a 4K camera, but we shot in 1080p to keep apples and oranges comparison. If this video was instructive and educational, I'm only doing this comparison not to test which camera is better. It's an educational process. We want to learn what mode does what, how do they react in certain scenarios, what lens and com uh, what lens and mode combo works best. This is all what I'm doing right here. And if you found the video helpful, I will appreciate your help by smashing that like button and sharing. Let me know in the comment section down below which mode, which lens did you like best? And yeah, that would be very helpful for me too because in a future video, I could probably incorporate that setup for future videos. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.